Let's start. Let's start. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are here with Teha. We are going to be talking about JPA and Mara Engineering Social Science Program and what we're studying in France as of now. So tell us more about yourself. <laughs> my name is Teha. I'm 23 years old and I did my bachelor in international business. And then I continued my master's in MSc Fashion Management in... I'm 22 right now and I'm studying mechanical engineering at Université de Technologie de Compiègne. Okay, um, well, I first arrived in 2018. I managed to secure a, it's called a convertible loan actually, from Mara, Madrid Amararayet. And I entered a MFI, Malaysia France Institute okay. in Bangui for my two years preparatory program where I learned uh, business and social science programs okay. at the same time with French intensive uh, language courses. I went to two months of a uh, host family program. And where were you? Uh, in Vichy. Okay. <laughs> I was with a French family. It was a uh, very uh, turning point, I would say. Uh -huh. And then uh, on September, I started my bachelor in global Ecology Management. So when you were in MFI during the two years, were your classes in French or in English? Besides uh, French classes, mm -hmm. they, are all in, they were all in English. From what I remember, yeah. <laughs> there were two stages. In the first one, uh, I attended a computer test. Mm -hmm. uh, basic ones like aptitude tests okay. and maybe some personality tests. Mm -hmm. And they called me for an interview, a physical interview. Okay. Like they gave us a small case study. Uh -huh. Like I, I remember it was about how do you want to sell a curry puff. <laughs> So for JPA, we have two stages actually. So the first one was like a case study. And I think what was important during that stage is they want to see how you work uh, in a group as well. Okay. The second um, interview on the same day was a group interview. And then you had like uh, your typical interview question. Just get to know yourself and like what's your strength and weaknesses and work on it. Um, try a lot of new things um, and also meet uh, a lot of new people and I think that will help your self-development a lot. Obviously like get the best grades that you are capable of that goes without saying. The general tips would be like you said to meet to try to meet a lot of people talk to people because that helps you improve on yourself mm. and surtout like during the interviews, it's important to show that you are sure of yourself, but not too much, just, like, <laughs> just the right amount. Yeah. It was challenging. Everything was in English for me, and we learned like um, in general what business looks like, mm -hmm. uh, marketing, finance, management. Um, and at the same time, some international contacts, okay. like um, supply chain, global supply chain, like Grenoble itself. Like I really love this city. Yeah. Like, I can say like a lot of uh, things that you want, you can get there. Yeah. At the same time, they have a very nature side. Yeah, so the view can, of like, the mountains. Yeah, views of mountains and like the mix of mountains and rivers. Yeah. I say. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I think the the main differences are really the study environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes we get like a Scandinavian teacher oh, with cool. Scandinavian experiences, but we do get Asian teachers as well. So that that's quite diverse in terms of experience and background. If you want to do engineering, go for it. <laughs> when you do an engineering degree, um, you're not necessarily going to end up doing something technical, but what you're learning throughout that five years is you're learning how to learn. Literally, everything around you that you see is like related more or less to engineering. Uh, for example, how do you make potato chips addictive? <laughs> There's an engineer behind that. Mm. Um, how do you make your chair comfortable? <laughs> There's an engineer behind that, and you know the lipstick mm. engineer behind that as yeah. well. So engineering is really really cool. I think you just have to find your calling and mm. and head towards what works best for you. 
but because I probably going to specialize in industrial design. Okay. So lately, I've been doing a lot of like communicative design and things like that, like how to present a product, mm -hmm. a, a new creation, and make it um, attractive to oh, okay. your client. But basically, like I can design your car seat or your car, and I can design a yogurt cup. You know, like the oh, range is, okay, okay, is okay. one. I think like the main difference between the French education system for engineering uh, compared to the UK and Malaysia is that we have obligatory internships okay. during the semester itself. So for example, I'm in my fourth year of the engineering program and I have uh, an obligatory six months internship. Okay. And which then, you are doing now? Which I'm doing now. The engineering program in France, so the fifth year, mm -hmm. you have to do an obligatory internship mm -hmm. during your last semester. Okay. So I think like when you graduate as an engineer from France, you have like a year to more than a year's worth of internship uh, experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the first realization that I had um, of uh, my passion in fashion, fashion, fashion in fashion. fashion. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, what am I gonna do then after like, I graduated? I saw. Uh, conference so i went to amsterdam to volunteer as a like event assistant and <clears throat> i connected with uh, this one um, indonesian woman she, she was the founder of the one of the founders of the uh, fashion week Damn. and the environment was so uh, inviting you know and it was modest fashion yeah so i i can relate to a lot of people yeah which i found very empowering uh, the, the courses are in two parts whereby I learn really the fashion business uh, for example how to manage finance in fashion company brand management on the, the other side we also learn about pattern making okay. so really really technical ones and also like fabrics okay. and, and the most special thing about this course is that they had a partnership with an Italian fashion school Thank you for joining yeah, me like today this video yeah. <laughs> If you're thinking of studying in France, don't hesitate to leave your questions down below or contact us on Instagram, Instagram. I guess Ciao! Bye. <laughs>